What is up, everybody? I know it's been a long time, and I have some explaining to do, especially considering the uh, the title of this video. Um, I have not been fishing in since the first or second week of December of last year when I went to Casitas. Uh, check out that video. Um, I caught a few good fish there. Um, but anyway, uh, like the thumbnail and the uh, title of this video, I uh, have not been able to fish due to a little accident that I had. I somehow uh, strained a muscle in my back. It was an extreme uh, strain, um, some sort of a tear or something, and uh, it, it rendered me basically incapacitated for um, a few weeks. I was in, it was in um, a lot of pain, excruciating. I could not sleep, I could not stand, I couldn't sit, I couldn't do anything, let alone fish. Um, my entire left uh, arm was basically, I, uh, I couldn't use it at all. Um, so that happened and that was really bad. I also sprained my ankle, a very severe sprain. I, I've had a lot of sprained ankles because I play a lot of basketball, or at least I used to before the pandemic. And uh, I would sprain my ankle from time to time, so I started using these braces. But anyway, I strained my or I sprained my ankle severely. Um, it's still kind of sore, and this was uh, almost a month ago. So uh, yeah, I strained my back, um, couldn't move, couldn't sleep, couldn't do anything. Uh, sprained my ankle, uh, which means I couldn't walk for a good couple of weeks. Um, car had to be <laughs> towed. Um, right around in the beginning of this uh, nonsense, uh, had a lot of stuff go on um, that basically prevented me from getting out and fishing, especially that first week of January when the weather was great. I would have been out there so quick. And then also when they uh, stocked the trout, I wanted to uh, hit Castaic and do some swim bait fishing. But again, I could not do that. I'm just now getting to the point. Oh, yeah, I also um, <laughs> strained my other shoulder. Um because of the injury to my left side. You know, I was using the right side to do a lot of things, including stretching and doing all this other these other rehab activities, and I did something to my right shoulder too. So getting old sucks. Um, also, a lot of it has to do with before the COVID, I was working out a lot, playing a lot of basketball, and so I was in shape. Um, and then once COVID hit, I mean, a couple months, I tried to keep staying in shape, like working out at home, exercising at home. It just didn't work out. Um, especially like it, it's not real conducive, the fishing lifestyle and playing basketball and doing all this other stuff, it, just the hours and the time and all that stuff. But anyway, uh, so I think I was out of shape and that's why this whole thing happened in the first place. That being said, I'm feeling much better. Things are looking up. Uh, so I will be getting out there fishing hopefully soon. Now I'm just waiting for all this wind and cold weather and rain to kind of die down a little bit. It's it's like raining off and on every other day here. So I'm trying to sort of pinpoint the best time to get out there and fish. I'm not sure where I'm going to fish, uh, whether it's going to be Casitas, Kachuma, Castaic, or somewhere down in San Diego like San Vicente. I'm dying to get back down there. So I am not sure. I am going to do a video where... You guys can pick where you want me to fish. Uh, when I posted that last video of Casitas being like one of the tougher lakes to catch fish, you know, some people were like, well, try Diamond Valley. That's one of the toughest lakes. I fished Diamond Valley. Um, I've had mixed success there. I've only been a few times and, and one or two times I did I did okay. And then one time was really tough. I only caught little dinks. So I can see Diamond Valley. And was, there's also a lot of al algae issues there. So depending on the quality of the water, yeah, that's going to affect it too. And then someone else told me uh, Poway is really, really difficult, which I can see it. It's it's one of those San Diego lakes. It's up in the mountains. It's cold water. It's clear water, kind of like Dixon. So it can be very, very tough. So yeah, I, I'll give any of them a try. Uh, you know, I, I like a challenge. I, I want to try to figure out these places. So, um, you know, you can put it in the comments now and see if there's any lakes you want me to try to fish. Um but I, I'm thinking I'm going to do a separate video where you guys can pick where you want me to go fishing and I'll see if I can uh, some grab some bass out of that place. So let's see what else. I got some more videos coming. Uh, finally, some, since I'm able to do this again, I, I wasn't even able to move around, let alone make a video for you guys and definitely wasn't able to go out and fish. I am working on trying to get a boat. Um, Maybe uh, in the next couple of months, I, I'm just I'm gonna try my best to try to figure it out. Um, 
because I would love to take you guys out fishing. Um, so that is my goal for this year is to try to get a boat so I can, um, you know, just have a, a lot more uh, tools at, at, at hand to make these videos. You know, some electronics would be nice, a trolling motor would be nice. Uh, and to, uh, you know, not spend so much money on rental boats. So I'm going to be working on that uh, this year as well. So stay tuned for those videos. Uh, I will be going out soon. Not sure when. So keep uh, tuned to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, and I will be out there. I'll see you tomorrow.